Hello dear students, in this term you are studying about virulence factors as a part of paper 1 and there are several enzymatic virulence factors that we are focusing on. There is hemolysin, there is streptokinase, there is coagulase and there is lecithinase out of which in this video we are going to basically focus on lecithinase. Lecithinase is an enzyme which breaks down lecithin which is a phospholipid and this is a very important virulence factor which a microorganism would possess in order to break open the phospholipid layer and gain entry into the cell. So there are few lecithinase producing organisms which we will test or if you even have an unknown strain with you, you could check if they are lecithinase producers or not. So for this, you need to have an egg yolk agar which contains 10% yolk emulsion or you also can make use of a media called as the Bade Parker's agar. So we are going to make use of Bade Parker's agar which contains the egg yolk emulsion and the telluride salt for detection of lecithinase. So this is how it's going to look like. The plate looks very opaque because of the addition of egg yolk to it. And uh, you can either break a fresh egg yolk, make an emulsion out of it. But uh, you know, that also involves a lot of chance of contamination if you're not going to perform that preparation between the sterile zone. So that's the reason why there are several companies which provide you with the egg yolk emulsion. Uh, which also contains the uh, telluride in it. So you have to just add a specific amount of this to the media depending on the volume of the media that you are going to prepare. So you don't have to break open an egg and you don't have to add telluride separately. So this is how we prepare Bait Parker's Agar. I'm going to pass few strains on this and we will observe how it appear appears uh, after 24 hours. Normally it is better to incubate the plate from 24 to 48 hours because at times you may see that the result gets slightly delayed. So we will keep it for 24 hours and if we don't see anything we will further incubate it for 48 hours. So after 48 hours of incubation for detection of lecithinase on Bait Parker's agar, I am over here to show you the results. So let us see how the organism looks like. I have passed S. aureus on uh, Bait Parker's medium because S. aureus is known to produce lecithinase. So I'm going to show you how it appears on Bait Parker's agar. So you can see here that on Bait Parker's agar, I have got uh, black colored colonies and uh, this is S. aureus which was passed on Bait Parker's agar. Normally it uh, shows growth in 24 hours but to observe a little amount of clearance around the colonies uh, we incubate the plates further. So I have an another plate which I will be showing you for the clearance and uh, which is 48 hours old and you will see how the clearance uh, is seen a little evidently after 48 hours of incubation. So if you observe this plate very carefully, you will see that around the colonies there is a little hallowish appearance and beyond that hallow you can see slight clearance. So if you see where the inoculation has been done like at this part, you will see around the edges that there is slight hallowish nature and uh, beyond that there is a little clearance. Maybe that's not very clearly visible but as I slightly tilt the plate uh, maybe it is slightly visible to you. Okay, But this kind of a clearance appears only after 48 hours of incubation and uh, it may take a little longer also to see this kind of a clearance on Bait Parker's agar. So this is a clear cut indication that Asaurus is a lecithinase producer.